Somali security forces have rescued an Indian cargo ship seized by pirates earlier this month, but the hijackers took nine of the 11-man crew which, when they fled ashore. Uh, they are thought to be uh, being held uh, near the city of Hobayo. The al Khausa is one of three vessels to be hijacked after a five-year lull. On Sunday, sailors from India, Pakistan and China freed the crew of a Tuvalu registered vessel which had been boarded by pirates. The two crew members who were rescued were in a car that the pirates abandoned after they were chased. Egyptian security forces have killed seven suspected Islamic State militants in a shootout. The interior minister says the seven militants were killed after they opened fire on security forces who approached them as they were meeting to plot further attacks on minority Christians. The incident occurred a day after Egypt's cabinet approved a three-month state of emergency in the wake of Islamic State attacks on two Christian Coptic churches that killed at least 44 people. Army General turned President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has launched the toughest crackdown on the, Islamist, on the IS in Egypt's uh, modern history. Kenya's investigating reports of crop-eating caterpillars known as armyworms in maize fields in the western region of uh, trans -Zoya. Neighboring Uganda confirmed last month that the pests had attacked crops in farms in about 20 districts in the country. This heightened concerns that they could spread into Kenya. Kenya is now among a host of African countries battling a crop-destroying caterpillar. The army worm has attacked farmlands in parts of the country, including the western region of Transnzoya, which forms a significant part of the country's bread basket. Some farmers are spraying their crops with pesticides as part of trials in a campaign aimed at stopping the pest that threatens to wipe out the season's crop. The army worm destroys young maize plants, attacking their growing points and burrowing into their cubs. Elkana Lunani says he has already sprayed his 300-acre farm four times. He's now trying out new pesticides recommended by the county government. I've done farming for many years, more than 20 years, and uh, I've never seen this kind of uh, uh, pest. This is my first time. We've had uh, other pests. We have, we, we even know the normal omnivores we see. Those are very easy to control. And, but this one is, 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 is very difficult to control. And um, the damage, for example, like in the, in the, in the 100 acres of uh, mess I've planted about 50% uh, is at stake because uh, the infestation is quite high. The army worm, known as fall army worm due to its tendency to migrate in autumn or fall, is native to North and South America and can devastate maize, a staple crop crucial to food security in large parts of Africa. What we are doing is we are trying to target and uh, make serious intervention in areas where the seed is produced, and that is Transoya. That's the reason why we have started this program in Transoya. Because the only way to save future generation of cropping, especially with our main staple, which is maize, is the number one host of this pest. And being our main staple, and what we are seeing now, even with the price of flour, it goes to demonstrate the importance of maize in this country. Scientists tracking the crop-destroying caterpillar said in February that it was spreading rapidly across mainland Africa and could reach tropical Asia and the Mediterranean in the next few years, threatening agricultural trade. A team of scientists have discovered why malaria mosquito uh, prefers to feed on the blood from people infected with malaria. The findings could lead to new ways to fight the disease. The, uh, Professor Ingrid Fay of the Department of Molecular Biosciences and Nushin Imami, postdoctoral researcher at the Werner Gren Institute at Stockholm University, discovered that the system helps the malaria parasite to spread and survive without killing the hosts. Swedish scientists have discovered 
that the malaria parasite in infected humans sends out a signal to attract mosquitoes to feed from them and continue the circle of infection. In a laboratory at Stockholm University, the scientists experimented by feeding mosquitoes with infected and uninfected blood. The parasite produces a molecule called HMBPP, which stimulates human blood to release more carbon dioxide, making the blood more attractive to mosquitoes and causing them to eat more. Steve and I um, offer the infected blood to mosquitoes, they are faster. And then after that I discussed with my mentor, you know, Ingrid Fai, the professor Ingrid Fai, and then I just explained my uh, understanding depends on this system, and she offered me to basically prepare a, a test for that. And then I make it, and I understand it's yes, it's really fast. In 90 seconds all the mosquitoes come and are really fed and completely engorged and fly away. From that, we could go on to find out that it was the red blood cells that are activated or inducing the release of certain smells or volatiles that, in addition to carbon dioxide, attracted the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are previously thought to randomly collect the malaria infection and pass it on by biting uninfected hosts. The interesting thing was that when we took away the red blood cells from the blood and just gave them serum with this molecule, they didn't care. So it was the same with the control and the, the actual test, which was really interesting. And, and from that we could go on and find out then that it was the red blood cells that were activated or inducing the release of certain smells or volatiles that in addition to carbon dioxide attracted the mosquitoes. The scientists say they are now researching ways to combat malaria by disrupting the transmission of signals, thus breaking the circle of infection. The research was published in the journal Science. That's Network Africa. Thank you for watching. I'm Jocker Rogers.